trying to see if someone will let me, yep, I think this person's gonna let me cut in front of them. Today, we're working by a response, but in between calls, let me turn these blinkers off, in between calls, I'm gonna go try to do some flipping, try to catch some spring largemouth bass, see if I find any on beds, and if I could find any big peacocks bass, that'll be a total plus. So stay tuned, we're in some traffic right now, that is Miami. We got some traffic right now and uh, I'm on the way to the fishing spot. So if I don't get a call, we're gonna kick this video off there. So stay tuned, it's gonna be fun today. Oh man, I got a peacock on, sweet. On the custom painted bite the bait fishing lure. Yeah, that is awesome right there. He's a little guy, he isn't pulling any drag, but hey man, I'll take it. Check that out, ooh. Sweet. Let's try to flip them up here. Oh, he's actually a lot better than I expected. Let's take a look at that guy. The bite the bait fishing lure right on the corner of the mouth. So, really close to the edge of the canal, right on the line of the bank. I just spotted a largemouth bass. Seems to be hanging out on a bed trying to stay really far away because they've been this water is really clear and it's really shallow right now so every single fish I've come up on has kind of gotten spooked oh, this wind is terrible so I'm gonna try to swim in this little flipping crawl that I got set up here with a skirt swim it into the bed if I don't get it stuck with a bunch of weeds almost there Hopefully we don't spook him. Got him. Got him right off the bed, guys. On the first cast, gonna flip him into the bank. That's a decent fish right there. That's my first, well, that's not my first of the year, but it's my first in a while. Saw a little chunk right there. Look at how he choked that. That little flipping setup that I got. I got it on a little one ounce. It was, actually no, see I got the little peg right there. Little one ounce weight, little flipping jig. Thing penetrated good right there. There we go, I think I got it there. Check that out. Simple setup on a VNM craw, and then a little skirt that you can get at any, pretty much any bait and tackle shop. I got mine at Bass Pro Shop. And nice little, nice little large mouth chunk right there. Future little bucket mouth. Sweet, man. That actually, I love it when a plan works out. I'm actually going to toss him right back into his bed. He was actually right down there. See ya, bud. Perfect. So first part is this little peg. This little peg right here. You can probably get it at any bait and tackle shop. Once you've put your peg in, you're going to put the weight that you think you're going to need. I put about a one ounce weight right there. Then you're going to need a flipping hook. Let me take this out little flipping hook I actually got these in one of the subscription tackle boxes I get every month and then I just decided to throw a little VNM little VNM crawl right there I think they call this like a beaver crawl or something but you could pretty much use any crawl I like this color this watermelon flake color because it's really light water that I'm flipping into right now so it kind of matches what is inside so I just pretty much I put that in there Take it all the way up to the top and then pierce it right through and I pretty much just toss it in just like this. Oh, he turned away from it. Actually, there's two fish on that, on that bed right now. Got him. Got him. Got this one. Got him. Swimming him this way. I got the one that I was looking after too. He choked it. Decent little fish. Gonna try to get some nice line on him. It's funny when you see these bass in the water, they look they look small, but sweet. Barely hooked. Look, bass jig just came right out. That's a lot nicer bass right there. Look at that. Look at those abrasive teeth. Solid fish right there, guys. I spotted him from a good distance. That's how you gotta do it. You don't want to spook these uh these larger bass. You kind of gotta target them at a distance. I think that fish actually left the bed. Because it didn't go after on this time. 
There we go. Got him finally. Finally got some hooks in him. Little tiny fish. I knew it had to have been small. Ow, look at that. I just got two treble hooks into my hands. Ow. I'm gonna try to get it out with my teeth. That's actually probably a bad idea. Can't let him go. Look, I got a treble hook in my hand. I had two of them in there originally, but now. Got it out. Look at the two holes from the treble hooks. Got them both right in my hand. Check the dad out. Damn. That's what I get, I guess, huh? That's what I get for messing with a little fish. All right, let's keep moving. All right, so I'm throwing the Zagaya baby gold right here. I'm trying to catch a couple peacocks that I saw hanging out near the shoreline. Kind of lost sight of them, but I think they're hiding under some rocks. So I'm just going to blind cast it far ahead. And I'm going to try to run it, run it along this bank line. And see if I get them to pop out. I don't see them right now, but I think they're hiding under the rocks. Oh, I missed one right there, guys. Missed them again. It's a little lure, so I got little tiny hooks, but at least I see the peacocks aggressive. Got them. No, the hooks came out. Hooks are too small, I think, for this big peacock right here. I'm gonna switch up to a bigger lure. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. This is really finesse right here. I don't. I, I feel like this is the reason why they're biting because it's a very small lure presentation. Got a fish. Oh my god, he's pulling drag. I'm trying to keep the tension loose so I don't lose them. They're very small hooks. Oh no. I don't even see where he's hooked. He might have choked that little bait. Oh my god, do you guys see that? All right, let's try to get a landing here. That's a nice peacock. He's trying to spit the hook out. Let's try to bring him this way. Let me try to get a landing right here in the, by the shore. I just broke my St. Croix on this fish, guys. I just broke my rod on this peacock bass, but look at this toad on the Zagaya lure. Look at this toad. He absolutely choked that Zagaya lure. Check it out, right inside the mouth. That's a big fish right there. Look at that, broke my rod tip right there, trying to bring him up off the bank. It's a big fish. I'm gonna say he's around five pounds. If not more, let's get a quick weight on him and then get him back in the water. 4.93, just shy of five pounds, 4.93. All right, you guys, so we're pretty much wrapping things up now. Caught a few fish today, couple largemouth, couple peacocks, tested out some new lures. I tested out that flipping setup that I did on my baitcaster, worked really well. I caught about, I think I caught two largemouth on it, one of them being pretty decent. I tested out the new lure that uh, was custom painted for me by Aaron. Thanks a lot, Aaron. I really appreciate that lure. And of course, my Zagaya lures, they always work on these peacock bass. I saw that peacock right near the shoreline. I knew that little baby gold was gonna work wonders. Tied it on with a little leader of 20 pounds, about two feet long. And I pretty much just worked it slowly, just jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. And when I paused it right in front of that peacock that was hiding underneath the rocks, it came out and just choked the bait. Awesome way to end the day, five pounder. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are interested in any of those Zagaya lures that I use on my videos, check them out on www.bitethebaitfishing.com. And if you use promo code BTBF15, you'll get 15% off your first order. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like it. If you're new to Bite the Bait Fishing, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time on Bite the Bait Fishing.